Channel News Brandon Walker is live for us now in Miami Beach tonight, which could get a direct hit, Brandon. Indeed, Lauren, and that's why you see what's going on behind me. People rushing to fill sandbags. This was one of two locations the city of Miami Beach put aside for sand collection today. There were 24,000 bags. Now there aren't any. So as you can see here, people using plastic bags, garbage bags, whatever they can to fill them up and prepare for Irma. Not just sandbags, but gas too. High commodity today as thousands hit the roads fleeing Irma. Here's a look at what we found today. The line at this gas station in Miami Beach wrapped the corn. One customer told me this was one of the shorter lines she's seen. There is a shortage of gas throughout the state of Florida because of high demand. Florida's Governor Rick Scott saying today he's directed Florida Highway Patrol to escort fuel trucks to gas stations, hoping that would get the gas to where it needs to be sooner. Customers tell me the more gas delivered, the better before Irma strikes. They just have premium, but I've seen lines that are three blocks in and people waiting for more than an hour to get gas well prepared for got backup generators and you know i think it's a little overblown but it's all good we're, we're gonna rough it out well officials warning folks not to do that in fact to heed their warnings to get out of here because it could be in fact a worst case scenario that's why you see folks here filling up bags of sand to prepare their homes there is a mandatory evacuation call here in miami beach meantime in the keys some thirty thousand people have already gotten away more on this coming up tonight at six we're live in miami beach i'm brandon walker kprc channel two news brandon thank you